All right. Hey man, Chris Dale again with bookshelf number two, reviewing which books I got on my shelf. Now, here's a special book, the New English Dictionary. We're gonna leave that off. Uh, we, ooh, we have a beautiful, important book if you're gonna get into exploit dev. Basically, this book, although it's a bit old, I don't necessarily want to call it dated because this book has a ton on vulnerabilities that are important and integral for you to basically be going into other topics and other vulnerabilities. So, for example, say formal strings and buffer overflows, this book will cover them, and those techniques are useful for getting into like heap spraying and use after free exploits and so on. So, I do very much enjoy this book, and it comes with a DVD so that you have an ISO where you can run that ISO in, for example, VirtualBox and follow along the book and basically run through all the different examples. So this one, very much recommended. John Erickson, you rock. Thank you very much for this book. Exploiting Online Games, not a big fan. Did not like this book very much. Uh, yep. Uh, what about... Oh, Ted Maple's book, InfoSec Rockstar. It's a cool book, very much gives you advice on how to become a successful consultant and basically different areas of consultants and, and people in the industry and basically how to understand where you are and potentially drive some, drive yourself uh, further. So I do enjoy this book. Thank you very much, Ted. I do believe it's signed as well. Yes, it is signed by Ted Maple himself. So that's a cool shout out to Ted there. Hope you're watching, Ted. <laughs> All right, Android Hackers uh, Handbook. This is a good book. Lots of people contributed to it. Uh, I use it for references. I use it for when I do Android pen testing. I look up interesting things that they're discussing, and I use it basically to to go back, re revisit several topics, understanding encodings, figuring out the chipsets, and sniffing from USB, all kinds of interesting stuff in this book. So I do recommend it. All right, hacking exposed industrial control systems. Now, sadly, I haven't been through this book fully yet. Basically, I've been through the, the table of contents a few times and I'm planning on going through it fully. I just haven't had the time yet. So this is a book I'm really looking forward to because there, there is there is a lot of ICS stuff happening in my world of business, but there's also quite a bit of stuff in this book, which for me is redundant terms. So it's like, it's too easy, like all the web app stuff in this book and so on. It's stuff that I don't want to repeat. So I will probably just skim through the book and, and focus in on the most, uh, most important topics for me. On this shelf is also Stephen Hawking's A Brief History of Time. Cool book, but a bit like, whoosh. <laughs> it was hard. Uh, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Totally recommend this one. Very good book by Stephen Covey. Um, like how to change your life, become a more happy person, how to make people around you more happy. Basically how to be successful in life. It's pretty, pretty cool. Then I have a bunch of oh, the Art of War. Why not, you know? Uh, the RTFM. Why not? The Red Team Field Manual. I don't use it, but it's cool. A bunch of 2600 magazines. like. They're nice to have, like, maybe put them in a, like in a, if you have an office, you can put them in like a, a social area and like put it in a bookshelf where people can just go through the magazines when they have some spare time. Uh, I do a lot of public speaking, so I thought that this book might be cool. TED Talks, a guide to public speaking, might be awesome. Uh, let's see what else we got here. We got mm, 2600. Oh, David Allen, Getting Things Done, GTD, The Art of Stress-Free Productivity. I did not finish this book primarily because, well, I had a bit too many of these self-management books and I just haven't been through it. I'm going to put this one um, over here with the quarter century, a quarter century of Unix because I'm going to go through it. I just haven't had the chance yet. Then we have some crap. We got Hacking Exposing Wireless, beautiful book, love it, very good reference. Although I know a lot of this stuff, it's very useful having those attack attacks referenced and being able to revisit them and take a look at what you have. Like this book is a good book, I do very much like this. Very deep technical and also covers tools on how to perform many of the attacks. Not just wireless, also think like things like RFID, NFC and Bluetooth, if my memory serves me correctly. Yes, like Z-Wave, Zigbee hacking, hacking cellular networks and more. 
Thank you very much, Josh Wright. This is a great book, and also Johnny Cash is also as a co-author on this book here. Josh Wright is, of course, a sans instructor. Now, Malware Analyst Cookbook and DVD. I love this book. Why? Because if my memory serves me correctly, we have no, that's a different book. But basically, this is a walkthrough on how to do a ton of malware analysis, and it's very much practical, hands-on, and that's what I li like about it. There is another book, which I was gonna mention, this one here on the same shelf, Practical Malware Analysis. I did love this book as well. I, I even mudded, the, <laughs> mudded it a little bit. There is no spoon, and there's a picture of a matrix spoon here. But basically, this book here, the first half of the book is like the practical theory and so on. Sorry, not practicals, but theory. And, and I do enjoy the theory for real. But the second half of the book references all the different practical labs, and those were awesome. Really nice practicals on how to get into analyzing malware. The Art of Memory Forensics, I use this for a reference. I've read the first three chapters of it, maybe fourth chapter, but uh, I haven't gotten through it yet. And I, to be honest, I probably won't get, be getting through this book in the near future because it's very big and I don't do that much memory forensics. It's a big shame, to be honest, because it's very fun. File system forensic analysis. I read the foreword, did not complete it. I got this book for free from attending a class or something like that, so just haven't had the time. Artificial Mice, haven't had the time to read it. Uh, probably gonna put it on the list, however, this area, AI, is just moving forward so fast, I probably won't read it, to be honest. Applied Crypto, Bruce Schneider. Yep, another book that you should read, but is very technical and is hard. I might use it for reference, however, I do have a different book that I'm using for reference these days when I'm getting into crypto, like block ciphers and so on. So. I wanted the book, I got it. Am I gonna read it? Not sure, probably not. <laughs> All right, so that's that. That's shelf number two. Let's go over shelf number three, four, and five, six in the next coming videos. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you liked it and give me your comments. See you.